Hello, this is a tutorial for the Blackboard course setup instructions. These are the key points that you'll need to consider as you're adapting your new Blackboard site for your new courses. We offer this um, template to you to help students get a more consistent presentation of course materials and college resources, so you can use this Blackboard menu as a setup for your courses. However, you can adjust the menu as needed for your particular course. To set up your course, you'll need to take a look at the Blackboard menu here on the left-hand side to decide what are things that you might use and what are things that you will not use. Some of the links that um, you might consider using are updating the Start Here button, which offers um, a, an update on the kinds of things that you could put in. You could add your course syllabus here as an item, you could review the Blackboard menu for the course in a video or in some text, and um, you can add your contact information. However, if you decide not to add anything else, these three things, if a student clicks on this, these three things are probably will probably get a student started well. The next thing you might think about is updating the Contact the Instructor button. To do that, here you would click on Create Contact, and in Create Contact you would just fill in the information that you would like students to have. It's really helpful if they have their own button right here then it makes it easy for them to find you, even if you've already put the information somewhere else. Redundancy is good. You might also come to Syllabus and post a link in the Syllabus area. Here you would just build content. You could add it as an item link, or you could add it as a file. Either one will work just fine. You can also think about adding learning modules or assignments. Should you choose to do learning modules, then you could make folders, um, you can create folders to be able to add things, or you can create modules, which is a series of sequential folders. We'll have a separate tutorial on building modules. You can also revise the links as needed. So for example, if you decide you're not going to use the course documents link, you can come here, click on this little arrow right here, and you can click on delete. Or, if there's something else that you would like to put here, for example, um, course readings, if you want to put all the PDFs in one place, you could rename the link just by clicking on Rename, type in the, the name that you want, and then click on the little arrow to say, yes, that is what I would like. So we're just going to go like that, and we're going to keep course documents here for the moment. Um, you can also show hidden links that you intend to use. So say if you want to use the course overview, you can click on the arrow, and here you can show the link. And this will make the course overview link appear. The next thing that you might want to do would be to select where you want students to begin in a course. So in order to select where they begin, you'll come down to the control panel, if it's not actually showing, you can click this little arrow and the control panel should show. And then from here you'll go to customization. And in customization you'll go down to teaching style. And in teaching style you can select the course entry points. It could be on announcements or it could be anywhere else that you choose to have students come in. We would suggest perhaps that you might have students come in on announcements or if you decide to use the home page, you could have them come in there. But announcements is a pretty convenient place to start. Um, you, can, you also need to make the course available. So from here, you'll come back to the control panel. And in the control panel, you'll come down to customization again. And in customization, no, you won't. You'll go to properties. Sorry, here we are in properties. And here's where you select availability. And when you say yes, that means your course is visible to everyone. When you say no, it's only available to members of your course that are listed as instructors. There are a couple of extra notes that you might want to know about. Here's the calendar, and the calendar is actually very useful. The calendar, in this particular case, will load due dates into the calendar automatically when you put due dates in the gradebook, or when you make an assignment, or if you make a blog, and you choose a due date for it that will make it appear in the gradebook also. Those, grade, those due dates are automatically loaded into the calendar, so you don't actually have to do anything, which is why it's nice to have the calendar appear here. 
The course overview link gives you a model for updating key information about your courses. If you choose to use this, um, you might want to, you'll definitely need to click here and show that link. What it suggests here is the kind of thing that Quality Matters suggests that you have in an easy place to get started. So it has the basic getting started information, but it also includes an instructor welcome, a description of the course, the student learning outcomes, how to get help. We filled in the information for UCBA, adding in your syllabus, and then a little statement about how we all use Quality Matters. Yay! If you choose to fill things out here in the course overview area, if you show home these items um, are already loaded in to show up on the home page. So if you create learning modules or if you have assignments with due dates, they'll automatically load on this front page. And anything that you fill into these other places will automatically show here also. So it's a pretty, it, it, it has made the home page um, a more functional thing to have. Um, We'll also be covering how to make the home page, how to customize the home page so that it can be more useful to you if you come to any of the um, training sessions that we'll be offering over the course of the semester. One last thing, if you are in an area and you're adding in an item, if you don't have this big, beautiful bar full of wonderful tools that we cover how to use in the training workshops, if, if this is all you get, you can use these not intuitive little arrows down here on the side, which some people call chevrons, and when you click on it, then you get the whole thing back and you can expand the toolbar. If you need help with any of these things, please ask. You can email Pam Ranke, Ruth Benander, Brad Mallory, or Ranju Shambhag. We'll be happy to help you with any of these items. So, now you're ready to customize your new Blackboard website.